How's it going folks? T-Biz here and I finally got some uh, nifty Rampage of the Movie action figures. Going to be coming out from I guess New Line Cinema pretty soon. I remember uh, I saw the trailer for this when I went to go see the, uh, not The Force Awakens, uh, I keep saying that, uh, The Last Jedi. And, oh, excuse me. Yeah, I was stoked because I, at first I was like, man, is this like some kind of uh, Jumanji type, um, when the trailer started playing, I was like, it's like some Jumanji type uh, thing or Jurassic Park and... And as the trailer went on, I was like, uh-oh, this is uh, this is Rampage, man. And then when they showed at the end, Rampage, the movie, the logo and stuff, as you can see on the box, I was like, wow, because we used to love playing that game at the arcade and stuff. And, uh, yeah, good times, good fun when we were kids and stuff back in the day. So that was pretty cool. And once again, Lenard's knocking things out of the park again, as you can see, Lenard Toys. And, um, and you've got the core-infused movie line like he did with uh, Kong Skull Island. And I'm still battling this cold. We're almost done with it. And these are only exclusive at Walmart, which I haven't seen them at my Walmart yet because my Walmart's high end and it's nice, but it sucks because they rarely get any good toys. And they do, but it's weird and I don't know, whatever. But still, I went ahead and uh, bought these on eBay because um, why wait months to get these figures or whatever or a while until I could just, you know, just get them, just snag them quick and just check them out and. Plus, I like collecting Lenar stuff and collecting core, uh, core stuff for about at least a few years now, by now and stuff, because a lot of uh, buddies and of mine got me into them and stuff. And uh, yeah, it's cool stuff. Um, they're definitely picking up uh, the slack for them where Hasbro's left off with like G.I. Joe and stuff like that, as far as cool like military style toys go. And they're just really reminiscent of old school military toys that I had, you know, when and my cousin had uh, back when, in the 80s and stuff, in the early 80s. But anyways, um, yeah, let's check this out and get this guy right here. I guess he's supposed to be just a generic core guy, or I'm not sure if he's supposed to be a movie guy or whatever, but he got red hair, and he's got a, I guess he's supposed to be, I, guess, I don't know, he's got a respirator for doing, I guess, aquatic stuff, seal-like stuff or whatever, and um, a lot of uh, sculpted detail as usual with uh, core figures, or with Lennard figures. But you might as well just say it's a core figure. But yeah. And you got more than 5P. You got about 5P. Actually, 6 points of articulation. That's 6. No, 6, 7, 8. Yeah, I guess you got about 10 points of articulation. So that's pretty cool. I guess 12, because you got a swivel right here, too. Got a lot going on. Waist twist, everything. Head, not so much, but still pretty cool figure. Not a bad dude. I guess he's made to go on this cool little raft thing, which is pretty cool. I think I got another one of these rafts with my conch skull on and stuff, but I never got around to reviewing that stuff. I should just do it anyways for the heck of it. But um, has some decals. Not sure what what the decals mean. I guess there's flares in that one side. Supplies in here, and supplies in here. Deadly supplies, I guess. If there's a skull, and um, I don't know what they're doing with the red on the guns. I guess maybe. I don't know, parents or some stupid angry soccer moms are uh, getting a hold of Lennart or whatever and being like, oh, you need to put like, you know, red orange tips on the bottom and the uh, tips of the guns. So uh, we know they're, you know, not real guns, but they're not real guns because they're small action figure guns. I don't know. That, that just kind of weirds me out. I'm getting tired of the censorship of things and, uh, and soccer moms griping about toys or complaining about things. No, it shows that they don't have much to do, but still. But yeah, he's cool. And cool to have, I don't know, all these nifty uh, accessories on this raft as far as the guns go. But yeah, cool paint on here and cool decals and everything. So yeah, really cool. And it comes with little sprue kit guns. So you've got, once again, they put all the um, orange red paint on the guns and tips of the barrels. But you got a sniper gun, you got a space age raffle, a rifle, <laughs> raffle. It's been a long week. You got another rifle. Um, not a sniper gun. You got a silencer right there. Forgive me. Sorry about that. And you got a pump action shotgun, and then you've got a grenade and a pistol. So yeah, a lot of cool weapons right there. But you, I guess you could paint these too if you wanted to, which would be a better idea. Then you got a cool. Um, deterrent metal i forget what you call these things but um 
kind of a World War II beachhead style thing or whatever. But you got these are like, it's like an anti anti vehicle type thing or whatever, anti anything. You don't want to walk on it or trip on it or try to drive your car on it or anything like that. But that's pretty cool. You probably want to paint that too in a custom piece. But yeah, always come with good accessories. Then you've got uh, some, I guess, a bazooka leaning on a barrel type thing with some ammo cases. And another one of those. You'd probably want to paint up if you wanted to for detail or for, um, or for customs. And then you got the busted canister, which I guess this is going to be some type of uh, Ninja Turtle type thing where canister busts... Uh, some kind of weird chemical gets on the animals and then all of a sudden you've got a, a giant giant kaiju kong godzilla type creatures uh wreaking havoc and um chomping up buildings and eating people so yeah and then here's lizzie right here this thing's pretty cool i like the plastic rubber on this figure detail is really nice the paint's really cool nice uh hefty rubber plastic mouth opens so that's pretty cool and yeah this thing just screams like just diorama setup all these set all these pieces and stuff and uh yeah it's pretty cool pretty cool figure pretty cool crocodile alligator crocodile whatever but yeah awesome awesome piece but yeah, I can't wait to check this movie out, and I can't wait to... I actually want to go and look for the old Rampage video games and start playing it again. Just because it was, it was a fun game. Nothing much to it, but it was a pretty cool game. And here's some more info on the back of the package. And you got something, I guess this has to do with tying with the movie, Energine Industries. But here we go. Uh, primatologist Davis Okoy, a man who keeps people... At a distance, shares an unshakable bond with George, the extraordinarily intelligent silverback gorilla who has been in his care since birth, but a rogue genetic experiment gone awry mutates this gentle ape into a raging creature of enormous size. To make matters worse, it's soon discovered there are similar altered animals like Lizzie, and uh, as these newly created alpha predators tear across North America, destroying everything in their path. Okoy teams with a discredited genetic engineer to secure an antidote, fighting his way through an ever-changing battlefield, not only to halt global catastrophe, but to save the fearsome creature that was once his friend. So that's cool. They're ready to destroy it. That's awesome. But yeah, definitely going to review more of these real soon because i got two more sets that are the kind of the smaller mid-size sets. And, uh, yeah, go check them out. If you can find them at Walmart, do so and get them. Because I don't think they're too expensive. But I forgot. I paid a certain amount. I think these might be going for 20 bucks or so. Maybe cheaper, maybe more. I can't remember. Maybe 15 But anyways, uh, thanks for watching, y'all. And uh, more videos and reviews definitely on the way. All right. Y'all take it easy. And thanks for watching, y'all. Take care.